So here later on in Matthew 1, we see uh, two names Jesus is given. Uh, one is his name shall be called Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And then the second is to behold the, per, the fulfillment of the prophecy of Isaiah. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. And um, those are two of the most telling names about, about our God and, and his love. Because Jesus comes to save his people from their sins. When you think of sin, uh, Jesus has sa says elsewhere in G John's gospel that whoever commits a sin is a slave to sin. We, we don't think of our sin as, as enslaving. Um, we fail to even see that before we were converted, <laughs> where we were, where our soul was, the things we loved, how they kept us in bondage, how they never fulfilled what they promised, the things we worshiped. And so Jesus comes, jumps in the fray. God, in his love, sent his son to save his people from their sins. Um, we need to be saved from sins, from, from um, the curse of sin, which is death. Uh, we need to be saved also, Paul says, not just from our sin, but also from the wrath of God. <laughs> Romans 8 mentions that um, even while we were sinners, Christ died for us. How much more shall we be saved from the wrath of God through him? And it's not just God's wrath and, and being saved from our sins as if it's just those two things and God leaves us at that. It's, it's not at all the salvation that God brings. Jesus in John's gospel mentions that we're saved for joy as well. And it says, as the Father loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. And then he goes on to say this, that these things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. Now, it doesn't mean that we're always on cloud nine. We saw last week that we suffer and our faith's tested and we endure trials. But the key to our joy being full is, is Emmanuel, is God with us. The language we see, and I think Nehemiah the prophet, is restore to me the joy of your salvation. We tend to think it, it so subjectively, our salvation. Our, of course it's ours, but there's a joy, there's a Trinitarian joy in what God is doing here in Matthew 1 in sending the Son and dwelling among us to save us from our sins. And, and the great joy is God's love and glory on display, but it's also going to be the fruit of the gospel that God would truly dwell, not just among us in Christ, but within us through the Spirit. And so Jesus still through the Spirit is Emmanuel, God with you, Christian. And so uh, take comfort in that. Um, commune uh, with him. Cry out to him in prayer and know that he... He came for us here in Matthew 1, but that he never leaves us nor forsakes us because he still is Emmanuel, God with us through the Spirit, and has saved us to the, to the uttermost, uh, not just from our sins and from the wrath of God, but for joy in him uh, through communion and union with him uh, in Christ, both here in grace and in the glory uh, that is to come. Be blessed.